It is your, your very own Lion of Africa here. I have received calls and requests from several people on my social media accounts and uh, I have received people asking me why I've not been able to speak about the xenophobic attacks in South Africa being that our agenda is to unite the African continent and to make sure that Africa become one continent and one country under God. With those calls for action, I have therefore decided to come and speak about this very, very important topic. First and foremost, the title of my speech is South Africa, Who Bewitched You? The main question that we must ask ourselves, South Africans, is that as you are fighting fellow black men and women in, you, in the land of South Africa, who told you that your enemy is the black brothers and sisters in South Africa? Who told you that by fighting against fellow black, you're winning? No, my brothers and sisters, you're losing. Our battle is not against fellow blacks. Our battle is not against people who are struggling the same way we are struggling South Africans. Africa is one country subdivided in the Berlin Conference by the very people who knew that by dividing us they would be able to cause you to think that Kenyans and Nigerians are not South Africans. They had to give us names and decide on which kind of flags we are going to fly. We are still flying the flags that they gave us. And at the end of the day, you sit down to fight and lynch on your own people, South Africans. What is wrong with you? Who bewitched you? Who told you that by killing me, you're going to get your freedom. No, you can kill all the black people in the planet, but still you will never have your freedom. Your freedom lies in the freedom of fellow black African people. I want to send this very serious warning to the likes of Gaddafi, the gang leader in South Africa in ghetto, who is hell-bent at causing pain to the Nigerians and the Kenyans and the, uh, and the Sudanese and South Sudanese and other countries, other men and women from other countries who are in South Africa. My brother, you are not fighting for your people. You're not fighting for the gang as you put it. You're fighting for the minorities, the Kuptas in South Africa. You're fighting for the very people who are holding 87% of your economy. And then you think you're fighting for your people. You are not fighting for your people. You may not know, but you're used as a conduit to ensure that you cause trouble to the very people who are not your enemies. My brothers and sisters from South Africa, I have decided to speak about this. And it has really hit me hard to see brothers and sisters dying, their properties being looted. These people who are not living a palatial lifestyle in South Africa, they are struggling just like you. Your enemy is not the black people in South Africa. Your enemy are the very people who are lying to you that your, your employment is in the hands of other black Africans. Who decides on your wages? Who bewitched you, my brothers and sisters from South Africa? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, something is wrong. You must not fight the black, fellow black. Who taught you to hate yourself? Malcolm X would have asked you today. That who taught you to hate yourselves? Who taught you to look at your skin and think that black is bad and white is right? No, 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 my fellow black African people. We must embrace each other. We must love each other. If you look at my hands, you will see Kenya and other countries in Africa represented in the flags that I wear. Because I wear Africa. I am Africa. You are Africa. And we must jointly come together and negotiate for the future of our children. It's not 
by fighting and, clinch, and lynching on fellow Africans. But it is in fighting the very people who have caused you miseries and took away your lands and took away your freedom and lied to you that your problem is fellow Africans from other nationalities. Africa is a one country and we must embrace this reality. Our problems is your problems. Injustice in South Africa is injustice in Kenya and the rest of Africa. You must therefore wake up to the reality. Wake up to the reality that our enemy is a common enemy known as imperialism. Our enemy is a common enemy that, 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 that lies to us. That we have different countries in Africa. No, we have one country with several subdivisions created in the Berlin Conference. And if we don't come to realize this, then our problems are still here to stay with us. You must stand up and speak. And speak loud. Everybody in Africa, both in the south and in the north and in the central and the east and the west, we must all unite together and say, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, you are because I am. Uhuru, utapatikana pale. That is where our freedom is, Ubuntu. Rise up and fight for a united socialist Africa. God bless my motherland. God bless the black land of Africa. God bless us. God bless you, South Africa. We pray for you that you may come to the realization that your enemies are my enemies. And they are not those brothers and sisters in Congo, in Nigeria, in Kenya, in Sierra Leone, in Zimbabwe, in Mozambique. No, 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 no. Your enemies are the imperialists. Wake up. Wake up.